What's going on, Forward Family, man? We back with another video. We're doing a reaction to Black's voice support for Trump, man. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this in the comment section down below. What You know, Joe Biden resigning and all that from uh, being in the race or in the run, a lot of folks coming out the woodwork. There seems to be this whole narrative of, uh, you know, minorities or uh, supporting uh, Trump. It's, there's been that, but, like, more recently, it's the virality of, oh, man, you know, Mexicans, black people, you know, minorities support Trump. And, you know, people are kind of taken aback, you know, being that Trump, supposedly people think Trump's a racist. But, I mean, it's people, minorities have always supported Trump. You know what I mean? There's, there, there's a certain sect, but nowadays it's this, it's just virality to, oh my God, black people, oh, Hispanics support Trump. You know, people going crazy over it. So we're going to react to this video. Let me know y'all's thoughts on everything, man. A lot of people, you know, tend to be, you know, um, shitting on uh, Kamala Harris as well, you know, saying that she's not authentically even black. You know I mean? You know, of course, people are going to start taking the jabs, uh, making it personal. So with that being said, let's just see what the context of the video it is and comment down y'all's opinions and thoughts, man. Let's get into it. Could Biden had, could, could Biden had, had a horrible four years to me? <laughs> yeah, I'm ready for him to go. Okay, so you're... Ain't it crazy? It's already been four years, man. These, uh, these terms seem to go by so quickly. Voting Trump. Yeah, he need to go retire or something. Trump 2024. <laughs> so you are voting Trump. Trump 2024. <laughs> I really hope Trump wins now because of this. I want somebody who understands what inflation means, what an interest rate, the difference between 1% and an interest rate can mean for a family of four. I feel like the world has never been at this level. She basically saying Biden don't know that. So I don't want the same president for the next four years. Did you guys hear about what happened Saturday with President Trump? Yes. Yes. What was your initial reaction? Don't kill him. <laughs> Do you guys have any other reactions? Uh, honestly, I was shocked. Shocked. Yeah, a very shocking thing that happened. Do you? You were confused. Yeah. yeah, well, it is pretty confusing. Why would somebody shoot at another person in general but for, for that to happen? Do you have any questions about, like, processing the whole thing? Do you look at the situation? Was she just over here, like, the expertise on the whole matter? Come on, man. You have any questions you need to ask me about the whole Trump uh, attempted assassination? I'll let you know everything you need to know. Come on, bro. What you... You know what I'm saying? And the conspiracy theories are still flying around to this day. I think that anything looks weird or... I mean, knowing Trump, it could have... But I don't know. Everybody, they were saying something about it. It could have been staged, but I don't think so. Yeah, bro. Come on, just admit it. You know that's what you're thinking. You don't think it was staged? No. Why not? I don't think he'll go to that extent. Yeah. That would be... Come on, bro. And I swear he was finna say, I don't think that there will be casualties. Because I, like I said in the prior video, everybody thinks it's real because people died over it. Like, come on, man. Pretty crazy to try and blow your own ear off and possibly yeah, die. He don't have to to be Biden. Like, he don't have to. So you think he's going to be Biden? <laughs> he don't have to. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He said Why he do you didn't think he's going to be Biden? Huh? Why do you think that? Because Biden had, had a horrible four years to me. <laughs> Yeah, I'm ready for him to go. Okay, so you're voting Trump. Yeah, he need to go retire or something. Yeah, he, he does need to retire. He needs to go to, like, come to Florida, yeah. you know, go to a 55-plus community, yeah, maybe chill. some assisted live yeah. in jail. Yeah, chill. I said chill. You oh. watch. Yeah, come out here every day and watch the water. Yeah, just watch the water. You know, yeah. he doesn't really know what's going on anyway. Yeah, yeah he's really confused. Right, he deserves a break. Yeah. We get yeah, it. Yeah, he does. All right, what's your favorite thing about President Trump? Uh, he all about America. Yeah, well, yeah, that's pretty good. Good or bad, he's he, he, he gonna do it right for America. With what I was saying before, I didn't know the um, everything that really happened. So now, learning a little bit more information, I see how that uh, it looked that way. But I want to refrain from saying fake instead of saying it was possibly look a little staged. But with that even being said, no one's deserved to get shot at. Shot. None of that, you know what I mean? It's all peace over here. So hope he's okay. Hope, you know, my condolences to the family too of the guy that got killed or whatever, you know. So, but, uh, you know, Trump 2024. He said 20 years old, man. We talking about the family man, bro. You know what I'm saying? Of course, condolences to the shooter's family because maybe the shooter's family is innocent. They had, uh, they had no idea their son was capable of such things, allegedly. Uh, but, but, but the innocent man that was shielding his family from gunfire, buddy. So you are voting Trump. 
Trump 2024. <laughs> did you hear about what happened on Saturday? Yeah, it all. Yeah, I am. Oh, yes. I did, and I, oh my gosh, it's terrible. Terrible, terrible, terrible. Whoever did it, the guy that did do it, I mean, I don't know if this is okay to say on camera, but I'm happy that they got him. Okay? Yeah. I'm happy they yeah, got him. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I saw it. I think it's just terrible that, you know, people are taking that extreme level. But um, I'm really happy that he's okay and he's still here for the next election. Yeah, yeah, for sure. I really hope Trump wins now because of this. Since I am officially back in the game, I'm going to need your support to keep these videos coming. If you like your... Just vote Funny. They talking about Trump got street cred now. He got that credibility you now. He's good. He's invited to the cookout. He's safe anywhere he go. He good in any hood. You know, <laughs> you know the song about, uh, there's a lot of memes, a lot of, you know, funny videos going around. The song from 50 Cent, you know, Many Men, which is, you know, 50 details his uh, assassination attempt, essentially, to where 50 Cent got shot nine times, man. He was supposed to not be here. But, you know, there's another plan that God had for him, and uh, he survived nine shots. So, in many men, if you don't know, he's detailing that encounter, so to speak. You know what I mean? He's detailing trials, tribulations. He's detailing being shot up. So, now, we're seeing Donald Trump have many men by 50 Cent pretty much as his theme song now. Yeah. So, let's go Trump. Yeah, for sure. I'm not much of a politics person, but I do know that Thank I've you. never had to pay so much for gas and groceries and just like, I feel like the world has never been at this level, so I don't want the same president for the next four years. Yeah, yeah. I, I agree with that. My thing to that is there's accumulation, right? Well, you know, especially if you're not back-to-back -back terms to where we see your hand or your, we see maybe um, your idea or your vision for the country, you know, kind of work its way through. You know, if you four years isn't enough to turn a new leaf. That's the thing. I mean, it's like, well, the past four years have been the worst forever. I need a new president now. Well, you know, that's the thing. The different parties, the different sides and opinions, you know, maybe the left takes control for the next four years uh and then and then and then it's the right so i don't think we really see a lot of the vision fully evolve grow and develop right for our country's true evolution to take place if you got the left went in and then it's the right went in you know what i'm saying it's like um it kind of, kind of seems like it's coming to a middle point right there's no real change that's being uh you know put into play it's like we ain't really seeing the complete 180. Um, do you have you guys? Do you guys know anybody? Talk to anybody that this has like piqued their interest to vote or like swayed their vote at all? I don't think so. Everybody that I know that says that they're gonna vote for Biden or is liberal, they're kind of like locked in. Yeah. And I think it's kind of sad because I don't know how you could be in the country for, you know, you see what's going on. Borders wide open. You got people flooding in. Inflation's up. I don't even know how much. Mm -hmm. yeah. So. These are people who do probably that. don't pay for their own stuff. That's what I'm saying. Yeah. So, like, I'm out here, we're out here, we have our business, we're working, we're just seeing how everything's just going up and mm -hmm. up, and it's just crazy. I'm I'm ready for it to be over. Yeah, Go I'm back ready to for a change. How yeah. long it takes to be. Time, yeah. buddy. All right, love it. If you could say one thing to President Trump, what would you say? Yo, Trump. What's up, bro? Keep going. <laughs> Keep going, please. We need you. <laughs> if a bullet can't stop you, nothing can. To the top. To wake up and see that no one's untouchable from mm -hmm. getting shot at wow. and it's crime everywhere in the world so when we see it at a high stage of donald trump getting shot at in broad open Terrible. daylight we have to know that the devil is real busy out here in this world and we got to protect each other and and it actually show united unity that's gonna be you know it's crazy is that like, of course, this could be a controversial take. People will come, oh my God, how could you say such a thing, bro? You know, the devil could be busy in the sense of what? Maybe, what, you know, God, wasn't God's plan for, you know, Donald Trump to die that, that day of uh, his assassination attempt and the devil's at work because he's trying to eliminate President Trump. But through the lies and the facade, the devil could still be at work through something that could have been a conspiracy, something that could have been faked, something that could have been staged. That's the devil's work too, bruh. <laughs> you know, the powers that be, so to speak, uh, have so much control to where they're trying to shift the narrative, paint a certain picture so that there's certain momentum gained on a certain side of the campaign. A certain, you know, um, 
candidate gets favor, so to speak, man. I mean, like, <laughs> it's the thing, man. We live in a world to where people going to just believe whatever. And then you maybe have some people believe in something else. But the, the, the entire truth is not, you know, um, provided face value. So, but one, some people just see the outer exterior layer. Oh, oh man, it, this happened. So that means that the enemy's at work. Bruh, I guarantee you it's way more complex than, than what we think it is as the people seeing these things in the media. We're just consuming, bro. <laughs> come between us eventually because God's brings unity anyway. Mm, so Donald Trump being shot was Bruh, a good... you see the dude in the background with all the ad lists? He said, oh, that was good. Even prior, he said, oh, well, it's not good. Oh, it's horrible. Assassination on Trump, horrible. He, these things can bring us together. Ooh, that was a good one. Bro, we don't need the ad lists in the background. Check that. Anyone can be touched. I want somebody who knows how much a gallon of lactose milk costs. Thank you. <laughs> I want somebody who knows... Kids and have- this lady sounds like she about to spew a whole lot of dumb stuff, so I'm gonna kind of. Drivers, they, you, you have to drive, you yourself. Have to drive yourself. Yeah. Yeah. I want somebody who understands what inflation means, what an interest rate. The- we're not hating want- on those that are wealthy. The- we're not. Because I'm wealthy, I just ain't got it in my account yet. Yeah. Well, from just. Yeah. On a, no, right. But we- from the bottom, you can see a view that people from the top don't see no more right. and it's easy to ignore those who are less than or who have less than in the moment and not see the struggles of your nation when those people are the majority yeah. a majority of us are budgeting right. to pay our electric bill mm-hmm. a majority of us are budgeting and then some people are even budgeting just to be able to afford medication yeah. i would love to have a candidate in office that understands what a paycheck means to 99.9 percent of this population yeah. so- and I- say you want trump in office if you <laughs> You know what I'm saying? <laughs> Just say that, guy. <laughs> yes or no? Will you guys be voting? Oh, hell yeah. Oh, yeah absolutely. Are you comfortable yeah. saying with all of that Most information definitely. you said, who will you be voting I for? I will voting for, but I will that, be voting. Yes. Oh, will, absolutely. We, we are, are my I people fault. That's for, very personal, bro. I never understood that my vote is my vote. It's personal. It's not your business. Oh, because politics is a touchy subject, and if you tell me who you vote for, we may have a, a very tough conversation. Is that the reality of the world, ladies and gentlemen? To where people don't want to tell who they're voting for because they don't want to get into the nitty-gritty of the political conversation. If you are so strong pressed in your beliefs and what you want or what you deem is worthy for this country and you as a citizen, why are you not proud to speak on who you're voting for? Who is that representation of what you want to see in the country? Oh, that's personal. What are you talking about? But your beliefs and your rights, that's not that personal, right? I mean, it could be specific to you, but then again, it's like you said, there's a majority that are still affected by the same day-to-day problems. So it's really not that personal. A lot, believe it or not, people are dealing with the same things you're dealing with. That just don't really make sense to me. You have such a, a strong political belief and passion, but when people want to talk about, oh, uh, Tell me what logic comes in that. I think that, like I said, like with what I led with, I do believe it's tied to the fact that people don't want to get pressed on their beliefs. Oh, I don't want to talk about it. I mean, it's cool, though. I respect it because, you know, when people talk political, it gets out of hand. The vote. I don't oh, yeah. whether because you hear family members saying, well, it won't count. You know, it doesn't matter. It does matter. It does. It I just had one young lady locally. say that it doesn't matter. It absolutely yeah. matters. Yeah. We yeah. vote locally because I think if you start with the local people, <laughs> you, keep, you keep the hey, ones from getting though. to the top. That's right. By the time they're at the presidency and all of that, it's kind of too late. Yeah. They've had they have a career now. But if you learn and to vote early on in, in your communities, early. my husband and I, we don't miss any type mm-hmm. of election in our community yeah. because we want to make sure that the right people are starting out before that's they right. get too high and you have and no voice they- stuck in the matrix ladies and gentlemen one on one you don't vote yeah. you just yeah. talking loud and saying nothing so do you think that he is a bad person well some of his actions aren't really good but as a person i think that I think, he, I think he's a good person, in my okay. opinion. Yeah. 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 Do you guys know of anybody who has been influenced to vote for Trump after this, or any of you guys? Yeah, everybody. Definitely me. Yeah? Were you not going to vote before? I wasn't going to vote at all, but that sealed it right there. Yeah, so you're voting Trump. Trump's get, Trump oh. gets it. All right, <laughs> awesome. Is there anybody else you know that has that same opinion? Pretty much all my friends. I hope he's okay, though. Right. Yeah, we, yeah, we love for everybody. Sure. Yeah. We love everybody, and I'm enjoy. I'm gonna enjoy clear water and get back to my good music. Oh, yeah, you get back to your good music. <laughs> smoking a blunt. 
or, I'm gonna answer. Like a little black, uh, like one of them little tobacco cigarettes. Like, well, dang, this fool definitely. <laughs> Water and get back to my good music. Oh, yeah, you get back to your good music. <laughs> Thank you for your time. I Thank really you, appreciate baby. it. So he definitely pro Trump. You feel me? Buddy is pro Trump to the death of him. <laughs> there you have it, man. Reasons why people rock with Trump and not that much uh, the left side. You feel me? Oh, no, Auto. We help you save more money. Oh, on no. Oh, no. Let me know y'all's thoughts on this one. Like, it's crazy. I think. Um, you know, I'm always talking about politics in, uh, well, not always, but in some of our videos, I'm mentioning the fact that I'm not the huge political kind of guy. But I think in this day and age, people that aren't political are forced to understand politics, uh, forced to get involved, forced, forced to have an opinion to say so. You see a lot of content creators, reactors doing everything tied to ever since the Trump stuff. Uh, it, it wasn't even ever since the Trump shooting. It was ever since he's re-entered you know what i mean to run for president that the whole conversation sparked all over again man i've never seen uh, i guess the social sector as privy or on top of political news as they are in today's day and age man and it's like a popular thing now politics is naturally popular but it's like cool popular now you know what i'm saying where people like weren't rocking with trump back in the day prior to his first term he's grown on him now people that you thought wasn't siding with him or siding with Trump now. You see what I'm saying? Like, it's like the Trump story is kind of turning a new leaf. You know what I mean? And, uh, hey, I'm not mad at it, man. Uh, with that being said, let me know y'all's thoughts in the conversation below, man. Uh, peace, love, prosperity. God bless, man. If anything, just put, keep God first. That's the only thing we need to be doing out here, man. The world's going to fall. The world's going to crumble. But God remains. God, you know, Jesus is the truth. Never changing, man. So pursue those type of things instead of earthly matters that will continuously be spiraling out of control, continuously be in chaos. You know what I'm saying? And, uh, you know, just keep your faith and keep your peace. So uh, God bless, man. We'll see y'all next time. Yeah.